What's up, guys? I wanted to bring y'all another super card video today. And this video is about season five. Okay, super card put this on their, you know, their thing or 2k.com. Uh, I'm not, I'll read it, but I'm gonna break it down for y'all on what's going on in season five. Okay, season five, we're gonna have a new training system. Uh, I'll read it and break it down, okay? A new season of Supercard is on the horizon this year. We're looking backwards in order to make the game forward. We challenged ourselves to improve the fundamentals of the game to streamline areas that have a direct impact on how you progress and how you spend your time in between matches from training to... And from training the menu, Season 5 is all about making your hobby more responsive and more satisfying. So right off the bat, they're pretty much saying that they're going to try to make it a little more back to being a little more basic, you know? And for, for you know, it to be, as, be funner again. And, uh, and be easier to go through. And I'm hoping this means that they're going to fix all them damn uh, network errors every two seconds and stuff like that. Um, the tier shakeup feeds into this theme pretty well, grabbing hardened cards and above from the draft board as opposed to, say, commons and rares. Means you'll be spending less time in the improve or card select menus. Watching numbers go up and down. This also frees up the card cap for much more meaningless cards, allowing you to play longer. While it's true that legacy cards like our incredible season 2 Dolph Ziggler common won't come off the draft word in season 5, you're gaining a lot of usability in return. Bye, Dolph common. Hello, improved flow. So right there, if y'all didn't know, they're taking all the tiers out that, are, well, they're not taking them out, per se, but Hardened is the, is the lowest card you can get off the draft board, okay, in Season 5. Common all the way up to SummerSlam will be in their own thing of Legacy cards, alright, so pretty much... Hardened is like the lowest thing you can pull off the board, which is a lot better because let's be honest, these common and uncommons isn't training our cards that easy anymore. You know? Anyway, let's keep continue. Other changes come in a season five that fit within this theme. A totally new my cards menu that prioritizes prior oh boy. Prioritizes your strongest cards. With an overhead, where I can't even say any words. With an overhaul to make everything cleaner and quicker, you'll be able to get to your most important cards faster. It's weird if you think about it, but this is a menu that we haven't really touched in over four years. It was time for an update. So this is gonna be a lot different, right? Because when you go into the my cards usually just go, you select whatever one you want to get to and move side to side. The only thing they have did with that since the game came out was in season one, it, it used to move up and down and they changed it to the side to side. Now, I, I'm, I'm glad that it's getting an update because I haven't had an update in a long time and it really is... You know, it takes a long time to get whatever you need in there. You know? So, yeah. A brand new main menu designed specifically to let you get to your cards quicker and get in and out of modes faster. Also, it includes a unicorn. First of all, I don't know what it's talking about by unicorn. <laughs> Second of all, Main menu designed specifically to get to your cards quicker and get in and out of mode faster. So I'm hoping... See, really what they're doing, to me, it sounds like they're making it like it used to be, you know? Like, it used to be a lot funner and basic and 
And like you just go in, you play, you go back out. You go into your cards, you select something, you go right back out. And that's what they're trying to do where people don't get frustrated all the time anymore and get like and not have as much fun as is the game really should be and the game Supercard is an awesome game to play. If you haven't played it, you should play it. You know, it's great play, it's addicting and stuff like that. But there's them times that it frustrates you because it's going slow or it's taking you long in this spot or in this spot and they're really just trying to make it easier for you to get around. Now this is something that I'm about to explain about that is going to make a lot of people happy. Okay. A multi-fusion chamber equipped with three different chambers. W one for your regular fusions, one for your legacy fusions, and one for promotional fusions. We've definitely heard the feedback that having a single chamber is a bummer during holiday promotions. So we're making sure to split out the functionality of the fusion chamber. So you can literally have three fusions going at one time. Now, no, you can't have three normal fusions going or two of them or three legacy or legacy fusion. You can only have one in each chamber, but there's going to be three chambers to select from where you can have one in each one to do three fusions at one time. And if anybody doesn't realize it yet, you're not losing any of your cards again i know there's a lot of responses of people thinking they're losing all their cards they are not not losing any of your cards you keep everything it's not a reset you you keep everything okay a reinvigorated card catalog that crispy crisply <laughs> crisply uh, displays all the cards you've collected. The heart of WWE Supercard is in collection, but the catalog hasn't always been great at servicing your work. Now it does. So, really, they're just saying that the catalog, when you go into it, it it ain't it ain't the greatest. Let's be honest. And they're re they're redoing that whole thing where you can get in there and see what you've did over the. Time you play the game a little easier. And then there are cards. Now these names right here are going to sound a little weird. <laughs> and out of nowhere. And so did Beast Monster and Titan. Right? You know. They were out of nowhere. So don't. It, I'm sure it's going to be lit. Alright. Season 5 introduces three new tiers of cards. Gothic, Neon, and Shattered. As you can probably tell from the names, these are some of the most dynamic and thematically fun cards we've ever made. The Gothic Pro, they're explaining a little bit of what the Gothic cards look like when they're pro is a moody card with crackling candles in the foreground and bats flying around in the background. Overall, we're we'll adding more than 250 new cards through these tiers, and we'll have some debuts. EC3... Ricochet, Candice LeRae, and more are joining WWE Supercard. Dude, honestly, if you want my opinion on this, I can't wait for this Season 5 update, honestly. Because I feel like it's Season, season 4 has been really stressful. I don't know how y'all feel about this, but... I started playing in season three, okay? In season three, I made it to where I am, you know, I made it up there. Season three was good, and I loved the start of season four, and then it kind of, then it kind of went downhill for me because it was too much. Like, you're doing, you have to, it, what they were pretty much doing on there is you had to play every minute of the day. To get somewhere. And that's not. That's not what you want. You know what I mean. 
and the cards I can't wait for these new tiers because they always come up with some crazy design and they sound lit okay I want to see what the neon looks like I want to see what the gothic looks like that sounds cool as hell with the candles and the the bats dude that's awesome and shattered I'd like to know what that looks like. I'm guessing it has like glass in the bra- black in the background breaking or something. Kind of like maybe it'll look kind of like the ring domination, you know, <laughs> with the with the pieces and stuff. I don't know. Sounds pretty dope though. As you can probably tell from the names. Oh yeah, I already read this. My bad. And I'm guessing that like there's gonna be since they said and more. I'm going to guess that there's like, we haven't seen, there's people that we haven't seen in the tiers, right? And uh, I don't know who that might be yet, but I'm sure if y'all can know, I know there Lars Sullivan hasn't been in, I don't think. The War Raiders are new, so I know they haven't been in. If y'all can think of anybody that hasn't been in the tiers, I'm sure they're coming. In season five. So let's hope so. Uh, Throughout the season. We'll be releasing content updates. To not only support the theme of season five. But also to drop in some extra glitz and glam. To let you in on a little secret. In December. We'll be releasing a new event. To complement ring domination. Road to glory and last man standing. We might also have plans for a holiday promotion. And more. Who knows. So yeah, thanks for reading our word wall. After four years, this game is still our passion. It's clearly yours. Two, keep letting us know what you think. Reach out on social media. Or the forums. Alright, so... Having another event is big. Okay? For the reasons being... For the longest time, it was only Road to Glory and Ring Domination. You know? Then they brought in Last Man Standing. And Road to Glory and Ring Domination, after playing it for so long, it gets gets really annoying and boring, you know? You're just sitting there grinding, trying to play these events, and it's the same thing every week and every week. You're doing the same thing, and again, and again, and again. Last Man Standing comes every now and then. And don't get me wrong, I like the concept of Last Man Standing. I like the concept of it. And I think it could be a great game mode. I just don't like that it's really a money grab. Last Man Standing, if you ain't spending money on it, then most of the time you ain't gonna get the card unless you got a lot of credit saved up or and plus it's even harder if your deck is unbalanced if your deck is balanced you're you're doing good bro honestly (laughs) so yeah this new event which since it's new it's completely new it's not gonna be like pcc it's It's not like LMS, not like, it's completely new, so whatever it may be, I'm hoping that it it, it ends up being pretty good, because we desperately need a new event to shake things up, to make you actually, you know, there's some events where you just don't feel like playing. Now, hopefully... This event, a uh, shake things up and want you to play more. You know what I mean? So th- this coming is going to be huge. Now, I'm going to let y'all know right now. I'm not. If you think that I'm just trying to hype it up to get everybody to play the game or something, I'm not. Number one. Number two, I'm just stating facts and what I honestly feel about the game. And I think it's going to be a pretty good update, but we'll see. You know what I mean? Don't know until it comes out. 
There's people that think it's coming out November 14th like it did last year. So I'm hoping that it is coming that soon because honestly, I can't wait. And in December, I hope that event that they're bringing in is even greater. Because I'm really looking forward to this new Supercard update. It sounds awesome. So hopefully it is awesome. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this WWE Supercard Season 5 breakdown, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, because we're on the road to 200 subscribers. We just hit 100, baby, and we not stopping anytime soon. And if you're new to the channel, also hit the notification bell. And if you're old to the channel, and you still haven't hit the notification bell, you should do it. Because you want to know when I'm live or put up a video. Because it's always too sweet. Anyways, guys. Stay tuned. And until next time, peace out.